thank you, uh, everybody, for joining. Uh, welcome. My name is Lev Lusokin. I'm in charge of strategy and market development for CAST. Uh, and we have a very exciting and important and interesting topic for you today. We're uh, going to be talking about uh, software analytics and how that is used uh, in, in measuring um, in some you know, various uh, aspects of IT, including transformation. So um, we have uh, our um, colleagues from BCG uh, here speaking with us. His name is Andrew Augerbach. Uh, he's Associate Director um, in BCG. Uh, Andrew has uh, 25 years of experience in IT, 14 years of that in BCG, and he's part of the leadership team uh, of BCG's um, global IT practice, which is called Technology Advantage. Uh, he's going to be sharing a very interesting and important topic with us today, and I want to, Andrew, thank you for taking the time uh, to speak uh, to, to this group, and um, with this, just uh, hand it over to you. Uh, to, to get into it. So, Thank you very much, Lev, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening uh, to everyone on the uh, webinar, wherever you are in the world. Uh, thank you, Lev, for inviting me to, to be with you today. So uh, as you just heard, uh, I've been with BCG for the last 14 years, uh, this week actually, and most of that time I've focused on what could best be described as large-scale transformation programs for our clients who typically you know, relatively large users of IT. So a typical uh, client might spend between half a billion and a billion dollars on IT, uh, some more, two or three billion, some less, you know, 100 million, but that, that sort of range. And clearly transforming uh, IT functions at that scale is, is not an easy, easy task. And uh, so I thought I'd start with uh, the quote we have here on, on uh, page two of the document, which is from Machiavelli 500 years ago. There is nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, or more, more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. So uh, basically, change is hard. And I think for that reason, uh, we, you know, in driving a, a large-scale transformation progress, we uh, pro program now, typically, and this is not exclusive to uh, to, to my firm. Uh, we reduce the risk of change, uh, as we see on page three, by rigorous planning, strong governance, careful tracking of of KPIs, and and that's certainly a a, a good thing. Um, but what's I think most challenging about uh, driving change in the world of IT is that uh, typically a significant portion of the, of the budget varies a little bit client to client, but it might be 40% or more of the budget, uh, the IT budget, is spent on change as opposed to, to running uh, the world of technology. And figuring out what kind of KPIs, what kind of analytics, what kind of measures we might use to track uh, change, which in, in IT is, is mostly about the software development process, is really, really difficult because you know, that is itself delivering change. And so how you measure that is one of those how, how long is a piece of string kind of questions. And uh, so we, we see a range of different approaches. And uh, so here on, on page four, I uh, hope you can read, uh, we see what we've grouped as, as sort of four different uh, types of measures. So um, on, on this two by two matrix, uh, you see the top half direct measures and the bottom half indirect measures, and then along the horizontal axis, input, output, and business measures. And uh, so, so classically, you'd start with uh, the cost measures, you know, so it, direct and indirect costs, man hours, uh, factor costs, you know, the d day rates for permanent, for contractors, for onshore, for offshore, and so on. Then, and that gets you so far, but clearly it doesn't get you a measure of your output, which, as we'll focus on for a good chunk of this uh, of today's session, is is absolutely crucial because the difference between a top performing developer and a weekly performing developer can be ten to one or or, or more, and so. You know, a lot of time and effort has gone on in the industry over decades into figuring out good ways of managing, of measuring those kinds of outputs. And you see in the, in the green uh, those kinds of direct measures. Uh, 